Barb's here, and I wanted to talk to you a little bit today about the new Mineral Camo Limited Edition controller from Microsoft. This is Microsoft's latest offering, and unfortunately for them, it was kind of leaked a little early, and um, they wound up confirming it. I received mine from Amazon right after the leak. As soon as it went up for pre-order, um, I grabbed one of these. I find the new controller uh, pretty good looking, and as you can see here, the uh, teal with the purple just looks lovely. Um, as you can see, there's no rubberized grip on the back, blue battery door, no logo on the battery door, um, no rubberized grips, but the side rails on both sides are camo colored. Um, thumbsticks are teal, buttons are blue on blue, and as you can see as we close up here, um, it is a white uh, Xbox logo with a blue colored background. Overall, um, the controller itself is very good looking um, and quite eye-catching design. Um, I really do think that the purple kind of sets the teal off and it looks really good. Um, now, as I said, this was part of the camo series. So as a point of comparison here, I thought I would get out my Daystrike camo, which um, I got a little earlier this year after it was released, and put the two of them side by side so that you could get a better look at the color between the two. I think the Daystrike camo looks fantastic as well um, with its red, but the red has been used before. Notice that the red buttons probably, I don't think, have been used before maybe on a Gears of War controller, but you can see that the camo design is completely different from the original camo. This is a blue one here that I have from my collection that I just absolutely adore. But you can see that the camo design has evolved some over the lifespan of the uh, controller offerings from Microsoft. But again, as you can see, it's a good looking controller and it's one that uh, I think really does nice by the camo series. I will say though, if you prefer the red, the red Daystrike camo controller looks great as well. Um, it's identical, no rubberized grip on the back, you know, plain black battery door. You know, it is not really a totally limited edition bells and whistles controller. It is just a standard I would call it a customized version of the standard controller shell. But this is the Mineral Camo Controller, and honestly, I think it's one of uh, Microsoft's better uh, controllers that they've released in some time. And when you put it side by side with the original Camo, boy oh boy, it makes you wonder if they would have released the Mineral Camo, or perhaps a blue version of a new Camo controller, they could make something else that would look really great. My name is Marbs. It's been great having you here. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks. Bye now.